Hi, this is Alfonso and today I'll be walking you through the creation of a signature in Zoom Pool. The purpose is to show you the most recent updates applied to the application in terms of interface and the user experience, and that you see how simple and fast it is to create and apply a signature. In Zoom Pool, you will find two ways to create a signature. The first one is in the dashboard. If you click on signatures, you will see a list of all the signatures that have been created and you have the option to create a signature. And number two, by using the new button that we have added to the header in the application, create new signature. This button is going to be present everywhere in the application. So let's go ahead and use that one. Among these three tabs, there are only two that need to be completed to create and apply the signature, general information, and choose people. Before I go ahead and configure or create my signature, I want to show you my Gmail account, where if I compose an email, I do not have any signature in it, so it's blank. So moving on to Zoom Pool, you will find that um, a temporary and a default name has been assigned to your signature, and this is a timestamp, when the signature was created and also the frequency has been set to monthly by default however you can modify this to annual weekly or quarterly okay so moving on you can select a template from the gallery to create your signature or you can start your signature from scratch which is what we are going to do right now so for this signature i'm going to add the first name also the last name followed by the business title and below I'm going to add the email address and a phone number email I'm sorry it was email and then phone number And at the bottom of the signature, I want to also include a, a banner, which is something, uh, some marketing information or any useful information for the recipients of these emails. Okay. So once the image is loaded, you can resize it according to your needs. And then the second tab that you have to complete is the choose people, like I was saying. So here you can add two type of contact, single persons or Google Groups. Now, if you add a Google Group, that means that this signature is going to be applied to every single member of that group. For this example, I'm going to add person. I'm going to add myself and someone else. Okay, now I'm ready to apply this signature. So I hit apply signature now. And then the system tells me that the signature has been not only saved, but it has been also applied. Now I want to move to Gmail and show you that the, that the signature has been applied. So I will compose a new email and you see the, thing, the signature according to what, what I configured in Zoom Pool. First and last name, business title, email address, phone number, and the image, the banner at the bottom of the signature. So with the new update, we have brought all you need to create and apply a signature in just a few clicks. I trust that this will be useful for you and your entire company. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.